Christmas I got a woodblock puzzle from Matt and Nat and I kind of tried to pull it apart and piece it together at Christmas time but it seemed to just get caught up with other things. Anyway here it is in its devolved state all little woodblock pieces. In the end it'll turn out to be some type of um, star topology. So what I'm going to do now is try to sort out all the different pieces. So these are all the wood pieces sorted out. Um, I've done this before and I was a bit surprised at the amount of symmetry there are in all the different pieces. Uh, the big one to notice first is this block. No real notches in it compared to every other block has notches in it. And this block is the last piece to be put in together. These blocks, two notches on one side, nothing else, otherwise it's the same as the first interlocking piece. And these lot, two notches on one side, like the previous ones, and also one big notch down the opposite side. You can see there's a whole lot of them. Hopefully they don't actually have to go into a specific position, but because of the type of blocks it's probably going to be quite symmetrical. Over here we have some interlocking pieces. There's six of them. Two to go that way, two to go that way, and two to go that way. So two on each axis. But if we notice that this one here has hardly any notches in it, only two notches. These ones a row of four notches all the way along it, nothing else. And these ones, the same thing, a row of four notches, but a big notch in the side. Now, because this piece is the last piece to go in and doesn't have any notches, what I'm going to assume is that this one here is probably the second or third last piece to be, in, to be inserted. And because it doesn't have the notches, all we'll have to do is clear something from this notch, clear something from this notch, and then it can actually be removed. So that's my first little guess of what's going to happen. These ones then are probably going to be uh, coming down towards the end, and then because these have the most notches, I'm guessing that they're going to be the last pieces to be removed. So the same thing with these ones, that's probably going to be the first. These ones... Um, probably have the same shape and if we put them there, four of them, there are actually going to be four different um, four different sections up above the, above the top and the bottom but because of these we would expect there to be six locking pieces at the end so some of these are probably going to have to be used for the ends of it as well By looking at the types of pieces, I think this is what is going to be part of it. These two with the notches, if they're together like that, it'll actually make a nice groove for something to slide out. And this one without any notches at all, if it sits on their part of the whole puzzle, it can then actually be slid out that way. Um, so these ones are going to basically be sitting inside here and holding it in place. Um, and this whole top section here then will most likely be the first part to be removed possibly with this one sitting maybe either this way or this way at the end possibly this way and be locked in with things so once this one's out these ones can come out and that one can be removed so let's see if I can build something that's like that so this is the th six axes, no, sorry, the three axes all together, two going each way, two going each way. This piece here is that special unlocking piece. So these are the two with the grooves. It allows that piece to get inserted straight in. Put this in. Eventually, without the whole thing falling apart. I'm pretty happy that that will be the the basic architecture, at least underneath. I'm a little bit concerned about some of the holes that I might actually have to pull apart part of it, but I'm pretty confident that's how it's going to look at 
the end. Now looking at the final piece, this final piece here will come in here. I think it's that way. It might even be that way. Something like that. So the space that we've got left over here, I think it's going to be these pieces. So if we slot one in there, and one in this side. I think that goes that way. It's already getting really, really tight. So, getting out of the way. so that's the final section. The only thing is I've got to figure out how to actually build all the rest of it and then get to this right at the very end and put that together at the end. So I can undo this piece, undo these, and undo this. So now I've got to figure out how I can build these other sections so that I can do that again. So from the basic three-axis shape, the other piece removed, now I want to look at what's happening on the outsides. The trick I think to this is that these pieces, there's only three of them without the notch in it. So if there's one there, one there, one there, one there, it means that these need to be made out of the these standard piece sets. So if we place this like that, and one on the other side. Like that, this piece can still actually be removed. So that's how that's going to look there, but we'll need to actually put some pieces in here. So we'll take that one out for now. And place those in like that. We still have a gap, and this piece can still slot in there and hold all that stuff in place. Still, actually, slot this all the way through eventually. So, repeat that on the other side. So that's the the outside course is done. And this piece here is going to be pretty interesting because when we get these, they can actually sit inside there like that at the moment but we'll actually need two other pieces one up the top and one up along the bottom and they can kind of work one at a time like that but you don't have enough space to actually put in the other one so there's a trick to getting that but I feel pretty confident that that part and that part are identical which means that it'll probably be going further and further down the puzzle so we've sold the part, top part, second parts this looks like right and so what we'll do now is start right from the very bottom and I need that separate that separate and then one take them out So there's our first axis. We want that one to be right down the bottom. Like that. And we can just grab any of these two and just place it so that like that. That's our bottom star done. Now all we need to do is get our, our original one. It's going to go in like that. So these notched ones then can slot in from the side. And we're back to where we are, but we've done the bottom section. These are going to be interesting though. Now the secret to the next piece then is that we've solved the bottom, but we want to actually get all of these in at the same time. 
for this whole concourse. The secret is though this section though can rise up so that as long as they don't actually impede that rising up, they can actually come off and they'll stay off like that. So we just put that aside for a second. Now what we want to do is build this. Here's our block sections, it'll be on the outside. Like that. Another block section on the outside. Now what we want to do is actually place it so that this hole is still available. So like that. Place it. So they can still actually slide up and down. We need to do the, the same underneath. Just grabbing that. That's where it gets incredibly fiddly. So pulling those tight against each other now. That'll be one side, that'll be the other side. And we still have the holes to slide down. So now what we should be able to do is just, oh, which way are we going? It's gotta be that way. Slide it down on the, And there we have bottom concourse done, two sides done. So now what we can do is just rebuild all the rest of the pieces together. So we have these outside pieces. Uh, actually no, I think I'll do these ones first. sits inside there, so we still have our locking piece to go through there, and repeat on the other side. It's gone down one slot, but it's still got to come up further. So, what we need to do now is complete the top course.
It's actually got a little bit of looseness that I've probably tightened up incorrectly. So like next time I do it, I'll have to be a little bit more cautious on making sure everything's nice and tight before I set it up. There we go. Matt, done it.